Good morning everyone. Oh, I'm so happy to be vlogging today. I haven't vlogged in like two weeks. I was over in Paddy's for like the last fortnight with Noah, obviously Paddy. It was so nice for a change of scenery, but I left my camera behind so I didn't have time to film, but I did get two videos edited. I got my birth story and a vlog. I have a couple of videos that I want to film this week as well. So I want to do a postpartum update video because I am five weeks postpartum now. So I think I kind of have a good amount of information to pass on to any of first time mums or anybody who's interested in knowing about postpartum and things to kind of expect or what I didn't actually realise and wish I kind of did. And then the other video I'm going to do is just an update on my body and stuff and just kind of explaining kind of similar things like things changes in my body that I wasn't expecting and you know so I just want to kind of do a few more postpartum or pregnancy videos. My eyebrows look crazy. I think it's just because I have no makeup on. I just filled them in so I could do makeup <laughs> on over them. But yeah, they look really crazy. I got sent out a new hair curler actually, guys. I'll show you it later. And I got sent out some Charlotte Tilbury goodies and some Sigma. I think that's like all that I got yesterday. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I'm going to dry my hair right now because it looks kind of crazy. My hair appointment is in three weeks time and I'm actually so happy that I waited to get it. I get my hair done now, it'll be nearly two months old and I'm kind of glad that I waited that long because I actually feel really good now so I can enjoy a day getting my hair done. Definitely feeling a little bit more in the swing of motherhood and I definitely feel a little bit more comfortable in everything that I'm doing and everything's coming really naturally. He is the best baby ever. I am actually blessed. I don't know how I got so blessed with him. I said this on my Instagram before but I really sympathise with any parents who had to deal with colic because I've had one maybe one or two bad days. I had one bad day and one bad night with Noah since he's been born. One bad night happened about four nights ago and he just would not sleep throughout the night. There was nothing wrong with him. He was just fussing the whole entire night. And the one bad day I had with him was Saturday two weeks ago and he just was screaming for an hour, one hour. <laughs> My parents said that when I had colic as a baby, I used to cry from 6 till 12. So it's 6 hours of a crying baby for something like 8 weeks. I don't know how they did it because the one hour of him crying Saturday 2 weeks ago, I can still hear the crying in my ears and I just, I just, it just must have been so hard for them. And I also watched a video of a girl that I was following her pregnancy journey. Her name's Storm and I've never like watched her before but I just found her when I was looking at pregnancy content. But she put up a video there like the other day speaking about her postpartum and her baby has colic and she has postpartum depression and it just sounds so difficult and I just can't comprehend how hard it must be for some women. Like it just sounds like awful and I just really sympathise with the poor girl but her video was really enlightening because I had no idea of how difficult colic can be or even feelings after like having a baby. Obviously like I have help but I don't take up the help that often and that was kind of like my biggest downfall like where Paddy's mum would be like here let me take him for an hour and I'd be like no like he's my baby my responsibility but I think now, after like some time has passed, I'm happy enough to hand him over for an hour. And same with like my mum and stuff, I'm I'm okay like for her to take him for an hour. So it's not even that I'm like worried that somebody's gonna do something wrong. It's like mother guilt. Like he's my baby, I should be doing everything. And other than like Paddy intervening, I don't want anybody else doing anything. And it's just you need to learn kind of when to accept help, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to dry my hair and I will get back to you in a moment when it's dry because it just looks ratchet. I eventually got my hair dried. I put Noah in his little docket top thing. Well, actually I had him like sitting up in it and I put on the, the hair dryer and normally he doesn't really care. Like he passes no remarks. He screamed the house down. It gave him such a fright. Like he got an awful fright from the hair dryer. So I can't blow dry my hair anymore with him in the room. Having a mug of coffee right now. I made like a, I don't know, caramel latte thing. There was like a sachet of it downstairs in the press. It must be my dad's, but it's delicious. I just put Noah down in this um, sleepy thing he has. And he's the full length of it now. 
Like, I actually can't believe it. Like, look at Peter at the, right at the bottom. When he was a newborn, he, like, finished right about here. Oh, my God, my big boy. You're fitting into it now. This is what he's wearing today. A white suit that his nanny got him. My mum. We're all dressed for the day. It's not too, too warm today, but it is nice out, so... I said that would wear something light. How about that? Yes! That's a nice outfit, Noah. You look really good today. I was supposed to finish vlogging yesterday, but instead, Noah and I and my mum went for a nice long walk. I'm trying to do walks every day, so I'm doing at least like 10,000 steps every day, which isn't like... I think that's kind of average of what you're supposed to be doing. It's not like exercise or anything like that. But I have been warned by my physio not to do anything more strenuous than a walk until I'm cleared by the doctor. So I'm going in to get cleared by the doctor on Wednesday. No, Thursday. He'll be six weeks old. Oh my God, my precious little boy. And he's getting so big. Like, look at him. Stop growing, please. And he's starting to smile now. And he's starting to kind of be a bit more interactive. Like, it's just crazy, like, how big he's getting. I'm taking every moment of him. And that's why I'm just not vlogging as much, I guess. I'm going to get some piercings done today. I know that sounds really crazy. But I wanted to get my earlobes pierced the third hole for the longest time ever. Like, so, so long, so I'm going in to get them done today because, obviously, with COVID, you couldn't get it done. People probably think I'm nuts with a baby and getting piercings because <laughs> you have to let them heal and stuff, but your lobes are pretty quick healing. They're pretty painless. I mean, I have 18 piercings, 18, 19 piercings, so I've been through a lot of different piercings, and the lobes are the like least painful and they heal really really quick so I'm getting them done today I don't care I want them done okay so I'm on the rampage this morning I am doing a massive clear out and getting rid of clothes that are in this drawer here because they were all stuff that I wore during my pregnancy and they're just things that I am sick to death looking at I got lovely pajamas at Christmas but I wore them into the ground and I'm just so fed up of looking at clothes that just don't fit me and they're all discolored and you know the way these things happen and I got a few new things in Zara and one thing in Birch Castle. I'll show you them now before I do the clear out so first of all we have Zara hung up the shirt but it is the TikTok famous pink shirt and I did a TikTok on it. I just absolutely love it. It is such a gorgeous bright fuchsia pink and it fits really well. If you guys are interested in it, I got a medium because I wanted it oversized. And in Zara right now, I am roughly between an extra small and small. So I'm mid-sized. I don't know what you would even say. This is the code and that's how much it was. And it's really, really nice. I love it. The other things I got in Zara were this squirt thing um i got it in a size small it was 29 euro and that is the code it's so cute on i really really like it. it's a bit wrinkly now because i had it in the bag but i'm going to mayo at the weekend so i think i'm going to bring it with me and then i got one of the you know the body con body con bodies and it's the high neck one i have these in every single color but my white one was gone horrible like it went like grey they had no small so I got a medium my boobs have gotten huge obviously since pregnancy so it fits nicely across my boobs I'd rather it be loose than really tight and my boobs popping outside of it so the medium is actually perfect in this. This is the dress I got from Bershka so it's a midi dress and it's like a bright lime green it's just so perfect for the summer I absolutely love it I got this in a size small and I'll show you the code if I can find the label, it's over here. Oh, I'm pulling everything down. The label and the code, just if you're wondering. I just think it's really pretty. I think it's on sale at the moment. It's just so pretty and it feels really lightweight. So it'll be really nice in the weather if we get warm weather. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will. I said I'd do like a quick five and a half week update. So this is what my body's looking like now. I'm not anywhere near as flat as my stomach was before. Like I still have a lot of extra weight and that's just what the front looks like. The linea negra is fading away. I still have a lot of extra fat in my stomach area but I'm not too worried about it because I haven't exercised. This is just basically from what's happened after giving birth so yeah 
it's not too bad. I'm not really putting any pressure on myself to get back into a certain size. I'm pretty content and happy with five and a half weeks doing no exercise, no dieting, nothing like that, just normal, natural, the way my body is, I suppose. I should preface by saying, as a nutritionist, to try and not focus solely on what you look like. I know it's difficult coming from me, like I've spoke in the past about my struggles with food and stuff like that and body image and things. But I will say that pregnancy has definitely flipped a switch in my brain to think about my body as just this amazing thing that was able to grow another human and just to be kind to my body and kind to myself and not put so much pressure on myself to be a certain size. I actually never really did that but I have done that since given birth been like oh my god I'm never going to fit into my size 6 jeans ever again or whatever I used to only weigh whatever weight or you know my measurements are x y and z I actually haven't weighed myself so I have no idea what I weigh or what I weighed before the baby or during my pregnancy and I actually told my doctor that I didn't want to know I think I remember one figure during my whole pregnancy was 60 kilos and I don't remember when that was please do not put pressure on yourself to try and lose weight or snap back or there is an awful lot of stuff on Instagram and online about you know mothers getting their bodies back and how you can snap back after pregnancy and it's not like that and it's you should not feel the pressure to do that you should not feel the pressure to get back into a certain size you may never get back to a certain size you may never fit in your old jeans or your old clothes and what I would advise you to do is buy a new wardrobe if that is you know physically possible for you or economically possible because I understand that looking at old clothes in your wardrobe and saying oh will I get back into that like that can be really like debilitating on your mental health especially if you suffer with body image or anything like that because I know myself there are certain things in my wardrobe that I'm just never going to fit into again and I'm just going to donate them and that's kind of what I'm doing today I'm donating stuff number one that I wore during pregnancy and I cannot bear to look at anymore because I just ugh, I just can't be dealing with it and number two things that I just know I'm not going to be wearing again or at least not going to be wearing for another year or until I start exercising like I can feel my stomach muscles going back in but there is still an awful lot of fat and I can see the fat underneath the surface I most certainly do not want to be wearing a crop top around that's just my personal preference I just don't want to be showing off my midriff right now a five and a half weeks postpartum so what I did is I actually bought clothes that fit I didn't care what size they were I just picked up clothes and I said that looks like that'll fit do not put pressure on yourself to fit back into a certain size or to look a certain way you grew a human it could take a year to get your body the way you like it it could take two years it could take five years but just make sure that you're looking after number one your mental health and number two eat as well as possible because I do notice when I eat crap food that I feel sluggish and I don't feel good mentally either I think it's just all the fat and additives and just crap that's in the food it just makes my mood feel awful so since giving birth I have ate as healthy as possible not because I'm trying to diet or anything like that but just because it just helps me it makes me feel better so I just feel better pre-pregnancy post-pregnancy when I eat well I've always felt that way and getting out for a run just helps my brain and that's the only kind of thing that I'm missing out on is just a little bit of exercise I'm afraid to do any like sit-ups or planks or any kind of like exercises for my core right now because I just haven't been given the sign off from my doctor and I just don't want to injure myself that's the only reason I haven't done them but I do recommend strengthening your core because I feel like I'm putting an awful lot of pressure on my back because my core is not strong it's not about appearances it's just about like physicalities and just being able to like maneuver a bit better and just feel a bit better in my body that my core is a bit stronger I did wear one of those support bands not like a waist trainer or anything like that but it was just a support band after I gave birth and it really 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 helped just to kind of hold everything there because I never realized how weak your core is after giving birth like 
people don't really talk about stuff like that. There's a lot of things that they don't talk about post-pregnancy. Right now, I'm just, like I said, eating well, going for a walk every day because the fresh air really helps. Not doing anything strenuous, not dieting, not trying to lose weight, just eating well and looking after myself. And I really recommend that you guys do it. If you are just after having a baby, please be kind to yourself and don't fall for things like scam diets or I can get your body back in 30 days if you do this plan or that plan or the other plan. In my experience, none of those plans, none of those diets, nothing like that has ever worked. And I have been a nut qualified nutritionist for nearly 10 years and I've never seen anything like that ever work. Any of those bad diets, they do for a small period of time and then you fall off the wagon and gain the weight back and some. So I do recommend eating little and often. Go into a little bit of a calorie deficit if you want. I can talk about that in a whole separate video if you guys are interested just in regards to healthy eating. I'm not saying that anybody should be losing weight after giving birth, especially if you're breastfeeding, you should be eating nearly more. You burn about 500 calories breastfeeding in a day, which is a lot of calories. Anyway, I will talk about that in a separate video if you guys are interested because I do want to stress not to worry about your body after ba having a baby. I know I did like a body update, but that's mostly for myself. I did bump updates every week and I just liked looking at my bump and I liked seeing it change and, you know, get bigger. And I just like seeing, you know, what my body looks like. And it's okay to have a little bit of fat on my body because it's good for my body and insulating organs and it needed to be there to help my baby grow. And it kind of helps me when I see that on camera, like, my body now it kind of helps me accept it I hope that makes sense I'm only doing it for a positive thing I don't want to give any negativity off by showing my body and I also want to show that I still have like things on my body like the linea et negra and they're all normal and I don't know if my body is normal after birth but it's just what I've been given and do not compare yourself to anybody else anyway I'm gonna finish emptying out these drawers now so I emptied out this top drawer and I've loads of room right down here and kind of all over here I have leggings and tops and stuff I'm just living out of this one drawer at the moment because the rest are pajamas and then jeans at the bottom that don't fit me right now so I need to go through all them as well and kind of get rid of what I'm never going to wear again and purchase jeans that are going to fit me I also have to go through this pile a lot of this is pregnancy wear as in maternity wear so well this isn't like that's just a normal gown but I wore that in when I was delivering this is maternity that's maternity maternity loads of things in maternity there and I need to go through them obviously there's a nursing bra majority of that is maternity so this is a weird angle I'm actually driving Paddy's car so I hope that the oh I'm sorry I hope the camera stays there but um yeah I'm driving his car because my car's battery's dead I don't know why like the battery is a new battery and I got it last summer. Noah is fast asleep. He's with his dad and uh, he's conked out. My dad brought him for a little walk around the block and he passed out. He absolutely loves the boogie and he loves the car. So anytime he's in either of them, he just goes to sleep. Sorry, I don't know. That's just going to slide all over the place. I probably won't be able to vlog much more because this camera's not secure and it'll slide back and forward and obviously I can't hold it and because I'm trying to drive and I have to be safe I just thought I would let you know that and my hair looks like an absolute hot mess today I've taken out loads of my piercings over the years but I still have like the holes and stuff so I want to get like piercing piercings I want to get my jewelry updated and I want to get like cute things so I'm gonna do that shortly I don't know I'm like 31 and I still have all my like piercings and stuff I don't care I absolutely love them they're like my favorite thing ever when I was in hospital having Noah my midwife said to me I hope all those piercings are easily to easy to remove just in case like they needed to do an unplanned section and that they were able to remove them anyway I'm gonna let you go because I just the, the situation here with the camera is just not good okay so I'm back in the car and you can see my third lobe on this side and on that side so it looks really good I'm blinded by the light but yeah I'm really happy with the look of them so I just have to keep them clean I went in about my nipple piercing as well I'm not able to have a piercing in a breastfeeding so I took out the bar 
and now I think it's closed up so I just got her to check to make sure everything's okay with it that there's like nothing wrong but it is closed up completely on one side and I was thinking should I maybe like get it re-pierced in a year's time so she was saying like leave your body to fully heal after birth and um, it could take up to a year and then we'll revisit the whole nipple situation so the piercing is gone I'm really sad about it. I've, I've had it over 10 years, so it's crazy. It's just gone now. So sad. Oh well. Okay, so yesterday I told you I would show you the hair curler and stuff that I got sent. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put it all away and then I'm gonna end today's vlog. And I just thought I'd give you a little update of the piercing. I don't know if you can even see that. Everything's healing great with it. So I just put in a little pearl and then just another stud but everything's fine these are all the things that i want to change um obviously this one up here as well so i just want to change them all so that they look i don't know like nice so i'll wait for this to heal and then i'll go in and get like new jewelry i picked up a lipstick in bt2s it is a back to mac and i ended up getting peach stock i've wanted this for so long i mean like years and well maybe nine years maybe like two years and every single time i go into back to market or even just to buy it it's out of stock it's very 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 popular and i'm trying to get my most worn mac lipstick which is blankety i've been trying to get that since well before the pandemic and i just i don't know if i'm ever going to get it again so that's what peach stock looks like it's kind of a peachy nude shade really really nice actually and like i said i've never owned this before so I'm excited to use that. These are the Charlotte Tilbury products that I got sent. And I'm very excited to try all these out. So I've got sent the Airbrush Setting Spray. This is a party all night, stale day, white tea of Bali. And it is exactly what it says. It's a finishing setting spray. The bottle of it looks like, so I'm really keen to give this a go and see if it's as good as the Urban Decay All Nighter because that's my favorite setting spray. They sent me out the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. They sent out the shade 5.5 Neutral, which looks way too pale for me. If anybody's ever tried this, does it oxidize? Maybe I can get away with it, do a wear test of it. Uh, this is the foundation brush that comes with it. It's called the Airbrush. And it looks like that. Isn't that just so gorgeous? And it's really, really, really soft. And look how white it is. Ah, so nice. So this is the brush you're supposed to use the foundation with. I sent out the finishing powder in the shade medium. This looks perfect. I don't like my setting powder to be a lot lighter than my foundation, or a lot darker than my foundation because I feel like it adds color. So I'm actually glad that that's a lighter shade. This is the bronzer which looks like that i don't know if you can see that there it's so pretty and the packaging is fabulous and then sigma sent me out these renew lip oils so there's four shades in here hush all heart tranquil and tint that looks like it would adapt to your lip color but they look really nice i like this one particularly and finally B Alame is where I got the hair curler from all the information that came with it the styling wand is $89.99 it comes with a 25 millimeter and a 32 millimeter wand it goes up to 360 sorry that's a 360 um, degree swivel cord and it goes up to 230 degrees which is very 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 warm so it just says embrace beachy hair vibes this summer with the wave styling wand from b anime so i'm very excited to try this out i probably will do like a video trying this out but this is what the wand looks like how sleek is that and it's gold i love that that's just what the wand looks like that's the 32 millimeter one i guess and it has like gold buttons on it so cool I presume that's turn on and then temperature and then that's the smaller wand so that attaches on kind of a little bit like my Numi wand from years ago that has long since died I still have the big pink one but I don't use it as much I use the curling wand from pennies that has a 25 millimeter barrel on it so I'm glad to have kind of both of those depending on what sort of curls I want. Yo, that's everything and that is also me done for the day. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I don't know if it was anyway interesting. Talk to all of you guys in my next vlog very, very soon. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.